What's up, Everyday Blades? Man, we got one of my favorite knives of all time here. Um, can't believe I got this in a while back and didn't review it because I, this is the Evo Custom Knife Factory Evo 3.0. I've had the 2.0 and reviewed it and the 1.0 and reviewed it. Um, and so for the 1.0, that was my favorite. It was the biggest. It was just something about that knife I love, but they're so rare. They're like $1,800. I can't keep a knife that costs $1,800. I can't afford that. Uh, it was nice to have it for a little while. Sold it for a little bit of a loss. Recouped my funds. And then I had a 2.0 and I don't know, traded it for another knife I had to have. Because uh, you get these great knives and then something else comes on and something else comes on. But then you realize how awesome that knife really was and you have to have it back. Well... Then they come out with the 3.0, and the 3.0 is really close to the 1.0, so I love it. It's a great knife. Uh, it's bigger than the 2.0, and that's one thing that I would prefer is to have a, a little bit bigger knife. But here we go. Look at the satin blade on that thing. Isn't that fine? Mocha tie, uh, or Tomascus uh, pivot collar. And this dark tie, I love this. This is my favorite version of the Evos. So they come in like a regular version, gray. They even go all the way up to super high-end mocha tie or Timascus shiny with uh, um, Damascus blades. Uh, it just unbelievably beautiful art knives, which I would never buy because you can't even handle them without putting fingerprints all over them. Um, but they're beautiful to look at. And this one has the... That beautiful dark tie with the, like the wood grain texturing in it. Running on ceramic bearings. Just a beautiful action on this thing. I mean, you got to be careful because it'll, it'll, it'll guillotine you. Got the um, Zirc, uh, Zirconium Backspacer. And I, I ordered uh, on eBay, I bought a Timascus clip to go on here. So it's going to look really nice. Actually, I think that was Mocha tie that I ordered. So Anyway, this is just, this is one of the best versions. I think the, the, the 1.0 or the original is like the best one for me. I think it's the coolest, but I just can't afford to own it. This is close enough, but I would rather have this one anyway, because I can carry this one. Uh, it's, it's still expensive. These run like seven eight hundred bucks on the secondary you can't get them on the on the new because they're sold out i mean they're they're all limited runs custom knife factory that's all they do is limited runs that i know about that's all i ever see uh, but everything works just so well from the lock the lock up is perfect it's about 25 percent centering is perfect it's just a great knife all the way around so, um, let's check it up against the Griptilian, Benchmade Griptilian. As you can see, it's a large knife, which I like, but it's definitely not too large to carry. This thing fits right in your pocket with the contoured scales. It, it, it does, it's not super, super heavy. It's got some weight to it, but it's not crazy heavy. Civivi Elementum. Let's check the uh, blade length. Three and three quarters. Four and a half. And about eight and a half overall. Just a great knife that comes down to a very fine, uh, real thin behind the edge. This is M390, and I got number 606, but they don't tell you of how many. Uh, I'm, with the popularity of this knife, I'm sure even if they say it's 300, it's probably 600. I, and I wouldn't either. I wouldn't limit it. I would have sold as many as I could until uh, I got a scratch right there. Don't know how that happened, but it's there. Uh, I would sell them until they didn't sell anymore, and then I would still keep some in stock, but... You know, when you do these limited runs and they sell out, people know you make great knives and then your next knife you come out with, people want to go ahead and buy it. So, there's a strategy to it. One thing CKF does, 
just provide one of a very nice pouch one of the nicest pouches you'll get evolution 3.0 with all the information on it designer john Sorensen. it tells in all the handle configuration it comes in comes in tie it comes in zerk uh, it comes in carbon fiber timascus zerka tie and micarta that's a lot of options uh, the, the blade steels are M390 or Damascus. Very cool. This one is purchase date 822. And it says their logo on the back. And then you get a nice microfiber cloth that has their logo in it. Okay, let's see what else. Got. This is the best part all new hardware and bearings so if anything goes wrong with your knife you can fix it just about that is awesome i mean how little does that cost a company to do but how much benefit do you get out of it the cost to benefit ratio is huge every little screw is in there even the little screw for the uh, lock bar insert and over travel stop awesome Let's put all this back in here. We'll we'll use that for now. Help the knife stand out a little bit. All right, let's do a weight on it. Six point five ounces. I mean, she she's a beefer. I mean, she's got a little beef to her, but um, that doesn't bother me at all. I mean, it, it it's worth it because it's such a cool knife. I don't think I've ever showed this or the, or the Evo 2 or the one to anyone that didn't say, man, that, that is fire. That is an awesome knife. Where can I get one? <laughs> like, well, you can't really. You can get one on the secondary market on eBay for a thousand bucks, or you can get one in our group for seven to eight hundred. But just a just a great knife. Let's not let's not lock up. It just sounds so good. Just a great knife. I love thumb hole openers are my favorite way of opening and deploying a knife. Got good size hardware. Man, those look like T10s. And that looks like a maybe a T20 or T25. Very large hardware. All the way around. Really cool. Guys, thanks for watching. God bless you and your families. Say a prayer for our country.